On the Enneagram, relationships between type 7 and 9 are frequent. Although their energies usually lead them in divergent directions, they may effectively cover one other's blind spots. The 9 provides a solid foundation for the seven's uplifting spirit and serves as an example of how to concentrate on one thing and see it through. The 7 gives the 9 energy, pushes them out of their comfort zones to try new things, and motivates them to stop engaging in habits that are no longer beneficial to them. Sevens and nines both have a propensity for having an optimistic outlook on life. That positivity enables individuals to see the best in people, develop a wide range of interests, and remain tenacious in the face of difficulties that arise outside of the romantic connection. Their friendly personalities, though, can make it challenging for them to see relationship tension or conflict. The seven become busier, seeking out new acquaintances, locations, and objects while continuing to feel increasingly alone, refusing to acknowledge the separation. Additionally, nines numb themselves by delving deeper into their daily routines. While both types are conflict avoidant, the seven is more likely to raise the issue if they feel it's necessary. But by then, both types may have avoided the issue for so long they have forgotten what it's really about. Sevens continuously views the world through the perspective of what the couple might be able to do as a partnership in the future. Nines have a tendency to see all sides of an issue and are big picture thinkers. That means they can both embrace diversity, having a large group of friends, and realizing that anything is indeed possible. The drawback is that both sevens and nines might be impatient and take a while to make a decision. In secret, the sevens hope the nine will choose which of their many interesting ideas to prioritize. But the alternatives are also overwhelming to nines. Decisions are thus left unfinished. That's especially true if the seven struggles to focus on the one thing they want to do or fears sharing it with the nine for fear of conflict, and the nine needs help to identify what they want, which can be hard if they are worried about disappointing someone. While the seven and nine have a lot in common, there are some things they lack individually that the other brings to the table. Sevens can appreciate the nine's caring support, steadfastness, patience, adaptability, relaxed pace, focus on understanding the needs of other people, and their focus on physical comfort. Nines can appreciate the seven's love of adventure, good ideas, idealism, mental acuity, enthusiasm, and fast pace. Nines appreciate being heard. To them, quality time is someone listening to their story without interruption. Sevens appreciate someone listening to all their ideas and hearing them just as ideas, not worrying about implementing them. Sevens and nines aren't particularly in touch with their emotions. It is difficult to discuss them because of this, even when things are going well. Regularly exploring and discussing their emotions, especially when things are going well, will be beneficial for both kinds. This will provide the couple a strong base to rely on when things aren't going according to plan. Arrange regular meetings to resolve misunderstandings and talk about complaints can help both types air issues before they get out of hand.